What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Journeyman in Football Manager 2022. Leave a like if you've been enjoying it. And at the start of our new season, you are going to see where it's going to progress, where we're going to find our job, uh, or how long it took us to find this job. First off, to give you the storyline. I wasn't applying for too many jobs, especially what you see right here, Sheffield Wednesday and Ipswich Town. I wasn't going for that. We were wanting to look for top division. You know, I was I was talking about that uh, before we left Circle of Brugge. Um, like a team that's going to, yeah, we're going to move to. That would be more of a project. And funnily enough, because I could say I was struggling to find a job, but generally uh, to the time we will be now, uh, you got to wait for teams to kind of struggle in their new season. So we were, we were waiting a bit and we, we were seeing, we were always so quick to jump into a new job. I feel me, our manager, deserved a little bit of a break. So these interviews, I did do them. And funnily enough, they didn't even offer me the role anyway. So I'm like, okay, maybe that's realizing. They approached me with without me even applying for the job and they didn't even choose me in the end. So that's when I started to realize, okay, where we're about a three-star manager right now. We've completed all the licenses. That one we had, it did go through, but I actually didn't budge the three-star. We're at the 60% now though, but uh, yeah, I think we maximize that from actually doing all our licenses, which it's good that's out of the way. But yeah, that was intriguing. We did have some rejections and maybe we were looking a bit hot. This one I didn't expect. As you would see, I still tried to apply for jobs while we were still in a job uh, before we left. But Man City, that was like a test. Okay, I'm not expecting a Man City job. And that didn't happen. But the next one in the same league, I thought there was a chance. So you would see this was again when I was, yeah, when I was free, when I was no longer in a job and West Ham, then I'm thinking I probably can't get a Premier League job at this point to not forget where our experience is and reputation. I think Premier League is off. But I remember when we got the job offer from, yeah, playing in France, which, you know, you know the end, but then I was really, I was lowering my expectations and we will go to that now. And we all know we have a job coming in, but Wigan, like along with those teams that were offering me, which was interesting uh, because during an interview process, they were saying oh, about my lack of experience in England, which we actually had a little period with at the start, but compared to only a few other countries that I manage in, what is the game reading me as, yeah, where I've had my experience? And Wigan actually, just to give you guys an idea, um, it's an interesting time because I was almost considering taking this job, which seemed my plan was to grow my reputation within England and hopefully lead to a Premier League job, which I'm preferring this job offer we've got now. But there, I was... I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be as harsh, but it as harsh, but it was, you know, 17th is the media prediction, not not the highest, but they wanted us to finish mid-table. I guess cuz it is early in the season and they 18th, they're not even in the relegate, well, not in the red zone, but you wouldn't say it's out of reach. They had some good young talents as well, but I think we are not going to spend much more uh, time talking about uh, yeah, clubs that rejected us. So Wigan didn't technically reject us yet, but what we've been leading to. We all know, we can all see where we are at, and it is Bordeaux. I was happy. I was very happy, and I was shocked. I was shocked they actually accepted us. And as I said, you're starting to get around this time of the season, and this was one of the first. I think there was a couple other clubs uh, that, yeah, because of a poor season so far, their managers have got sacked. It's a good time to get it because it's so early. Like, yeah, still quite early in the season, and they didn't uh, really demand too much. It's a void relegation. So in compared to Wigan, in a comparison, I think it's a more safer job. And funnily enough, it's like a... I'd say they're a bigger team as well. Like, yeah, they're in a top division. They've had success before. And of course, we have to compare because we did get a job offer from, yeah, FC not FC not, and they're in 10th. But I see 
Bordeaux with a bit more history. And if we just go, we literally go to that right now. Uh, hey, that, they've got it as well. We we can't lie. We'll, if we just go over to the competitions, uh, in terms of winner, um, they actually won in uh, 2001. So pretty good. Like They've got history themselves. So I definitely need to put respect on that. They are that three and a half star reputation, which we go over. I'm still just that three. See, we've got the Continental Pro license, and you can see it's the highest qualification. We've got the highest qualification now, so we've got to be happy with that. But as I said, we it went up by that, yeah, 5%. Like we're on 60 now. But that was actually when they approached us uh, before, uh, like when we were still in a job. But now, uh, Bordeaux, who's, if anything, you see him as a lower rep. This is where my comparison comes in. They've actually won the league fewer times. But in a more recent, when I was growing up, like through school, they were like, you know, you, you do you do some saves in the French league. And obviously when I was younger, playing a bit of FIFA in career mode, they're like in those, yeah, the 2000, they had a period there, 2006, 8, 9, they, they really struck me as a, like one of the better teams in the league. So that, I, that still carries with me uh, absolutely for sure. And you can see some other competitions in that time. Um, like they're in Europe as well, obviously with those finishes. So yeah, that's why I guess I have held Bordeaux at a maybe a higher note uh, than someone like FC Nantes who, who did approach us like we touched on. And if we talk about the low, like the training facilities, facilities look good, the coaching and recruitment a bit lower. But one thing that you can take a look, sign, oh, I have to talk about this. They, they're judging me on something that I've actually done. They are saying with saving teams from relegation I feel like the game should be registering that and this is a reason maybe they finally are and checking our history I just hope for that I don't want that to be seen as yeah that's something we worked on how it's played out so hey maybe in the end they did do their research but yeah with the avoid relegation but develop the best youth system in the country that's something that they would look to improve and we will take a look at squad and all that but yeah, become a established. Have they? All right, they've got goals as the furthest one. Like the five-year plan is record uh, a league and top half finish. So, and that's just work working towards it. Then, so I guess mid table would be acceptable. But yeah, it would be interesting to see how they read it. But yeah, that's going to be a goals. Obviously, some good clubs um, in the league uh, with a bit of money, uh, and again, like to develop the youth. You know, we do as well. Uh, that's been a thing and maybe why it's been hard to leave a club because we know we've got uh, good talents there, but also we know we left uh, teams in a good position. Uh, that's when you're happy leaving. Sign players under the age of 23. You know, we do like bringing in the talent, but we still want to get some experience in. Uh, that's where they're going to have like maximum one-year contracts for players over the age of 32. We've got to be really specific or remember that. Sign players for profit. Minimum three-year contracts for first-team players. So, yeah, to time down, that helps with money as well or getting good offers from teams uh, so they're not waiting till their contract runs out. Yeah, two-year contracts for over the th age of 30 and maximum two-year... maximum. You've got to be careful this. <laughs> maximum three-year contract for players over the age of 28. So we have to remember all those individual details. But, yeah, definitely going in to start the negotiations. And as always, I just lower my wage by a bit. Not too much because you still want some to go into the club or you you don't want it to be too low for you to be easy sacked. But I don't think that wage was anyway. And yeah, top division, we don't think we're going to get relegated. So that doesn't really matter anyway. But yeah, we drop it down to 5.5K. Maybe not so realistic as who's going to want to lower uh, the wage, but it's more so keeping the money in consideration for the club. But what's a couple K anyway? Uh, at, yeah, you know, in a pretty big league. So we finalized the deal and join a new club. And it should see there was like there's the New York City, there was a couple of the South American, the Brazil and that. But yeah, I I felt we were in a position where, yeah, top European league, this is where we had to go. <laughs> as much as we were applying for Wigan. I thought France, it seemed to maybe our reputation for the reason we said at our last club, because there was a bit of connection there at Circle Brugger. Maybe that's why. But this is one to put us on a map now. This is where those other, say, Spain, Italy, Germany, England, those the top leagues in those countries anyway, 
this is where they'll yeah treat us with a bit more respect maybe when that point comes. But also, if we build a good team in this league, if you build a good team in France, it's a team that can stand a chance in Europe. So that's what I really wanted. And I'm glad we've secured that now. And a team where, from my point of view, I've seen them and, yeah, grew up with them, uh, seen them as a notable team, <laughs> actually winning this league and, yeah, being in the European competition. So if we were at least comparing it to FC Nantes. But I'm really happy with this job. And again, like I said, they have a good history. They had the greatest error in the 1980s. There's still, what we touched on, their facilities are good. So the youth recruitment is something we can work on and yeah, the junior coaching, that will come. That will come, especially it's the board. Yeah, the board wants that. So if we propose it, they might propose it to us and we'll accept that willingly, that's for sure. But the fact that the actual training and current youth facilities are good, that's yeah, very important. And I'd find us, I think we should be able to increase their reputation, say three star and with their history as well, Lee Gurn, I, I think doing well, um, having better seasons with them, their reputation definitely should go to that three and a half and maybe four uh, once getting to Europe. But as I said, th in France, if we build them to be a competitor in this league, we'll be a competitor up into the Champions League. Somewhere like Belgium wouldn't be the same and any other yeah lower tier countries. Uh, there were jobs available, like countries like Norway, Sweden, that kind of stuff. But it, it'll be the same situation we were um, in Belgium. Even if we build, it was still a big if. We were still trying to fight to be the best team in the league. But even though our money isn't crazy, it's something to work on. And a good capacity there, yeah, 42K. So more, more money is going to come through attendances. There's multiple of these things right now. A couple regions. I may have took a look at them, but yeah, but not every single player at the club. That's what we're going to do. I remember this guy. I think I was trying to sign someone uh, in another save. But uh, yeah, and he was coming up. But yeah, so for this episode, we're building up, you know, to the, the club we joined, even though you know it, and we'll just have a bit of a review of the squad, and then we'll see how it's looking and what we can work on. You see a hot prospect, you've got key players, um, I think it's a good feeling for the reasons we've said. And again, the importance, I guess we talked on these, so the required, the, the club culture, it's they preferred you still want to try and do, favoured, I guess you can ignore, but you'll do it if you can. Uh, but preferred maximum one-year contracts for 32-year-old or older. But, yeah, develop players using the youth system. If we have enough youth players, that will be acceptable. And you sign a few players under 23. Uh, yeah, but the required sign players are sell for profit. So, again, we've had experience with that going for the cheaper signings. I tend to work that way. Uh, but when the money starts to come in, you want to, yeah, put that into the club uh, like I've done uh, before. But work within the wage budget. Well, to be honest, not in this save yet because we haven't had big money to work with. But, yeah, work within the wage budget. We'll always keep that in our eye and avoid relegation. That's, yeah, to, if we get them relegated, we could probably, yeah, probably be sacked. So that's going to be in our minds the most. Try and, yeah, pick up some wins early days. So here we are, take charge at Bordeaux and our current stats. I think that's not bad, a 61% winning percentage. We've got a league win. We've got two cups. Yeah, we've really, I wonder, no, I, d I don't think, yeah, a reputation. We, we, we're going to have to do something. But I was wondering, yeah, when we got to that 60%, three-star wasn't going to budge, but that's okay. And maybe we'll take a look at our attributes right now. My level of discipline is how, how likely, yeah, w through how you see how I manage, why do you think that's really boomed up? Like without how I interact with my players, how I treat them. Um, obviously, you can see what it means there, uh, how likely, but I'm glad Players are going to be not very likely to bring concerns to me. So that's a good time to have that when we're, you know, going up the divisions. Uh, you're not going to have players complaining too much, which I like. I just find it such annoyance. So maybe that's realistic. Uh, that, that's come across with how I manage. And now it's been reflected and I'm glad that it is. Okay, who's this guy who has a worse opinion of me? Is it just, mate, I don't even know. Well, did I try and apply for one of your jobs maybe you got sacked from? I have no idea why this man doesn't like me. I'm trying to see a connection in his jobs. <laughs> if you do know, l let me know where you could get that idea. But yeah, maybe because I was in the running for one of his jobs. Former jobs, I should say. And yeah, it was one of those where the fans weren't really confident. You can see here, Mikhail LaRoche. 
He was considered the favourite. No, but why? Oh, because he's French. Rep. Experience. Not sure about that one, Chief. There was a couple things here, like players running out of contract. Don't worry about these for now. And then on that budget as well, we'll only be able to retain a small portion. Wait. And we said we wanted to join a team that had money, didn't we? And being in the red six million, I do wonder. It has... I, I, I just want to wonder the reasons. Whether it be player sales... But I thought, again, because of the stadium, I think, could have decent attendances. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go how they've spent the money or sales they've made. Okay, yeah. I just I think we're going to have to be here for a little while and we'll start to understand. There could be some sell-on clauses. Um, there's appearance money here. This is $1.4 These are important, actually. Another 44 Mm, I think you'll wait on that, especially if he is a first-team player. Looks like he... Okay. I think we wait and say. I think he's value high enough considering Fulham. Where's Fulham? Are they in the Prem now or not? We've got to see. They're yeah, Premier League. I've got to look. Is he Premier League quality? He sh this guy... No, he should get games for Fulham in the Premier League. So, he's 30 though. Let's not react too quickly. Yeah. But they haven't... Mm, that's interesting. They haven't really used him as a first-team player you got to take a look at all these things. You really do. So, maybe some might say, what would you say? There's a real chance you could take that, but I'll, I'll analyse more of those. But the point is, I'm intrigued where the finances are heading. There's been expenditure. The, the, I said, oh, there should be good money through the gate receipts. There's been no wins, so that doesn't help. I think we'll switch up to our fixtures there. That's, yeah, so you can see the attendances. Have to change that, joining a new team, I guess. Home. Okay, we're, we're not maxing. It's easy to say, oh, we've got a 40K. Yeah, 40K stadium. Some games at home is half of that. So it's something to work on. Start winning games and maybe, yeah, get through, get through <laughs> some more people into the stadium in match days. And then money would be coming in a bit more through that because it's once more the biggest expenditure as usually and... What's impacting that loss is, yeah, the amount of pay player wages, but wouldn't be spending the most out of every team in the league, I would guess. But uh, tactical stuff, we're just going to go through this quickly because we're not going to set it up in this video. Just a 4-2-3-1 was a recent tactic I would have used, so we just put that in place so that must respond is dealt with. So now we're just going to look, we're not going to go individually through every single player, but take a look at... Uh, yeah, some talents, the future, uh, players for the future, especially as that's what the board uh, is looking from us. And yeah, who's maybe some of the best talents in the team? Muasa, Diakabi. I might take a look for pronunciations for some names. We are in France now, but anyway. Yeah, Muasa, 19. No, I don't want to go too early. I don't want to say he's a young Mbappe. No, don't think that. But I mean... But I mean, he's, you know, in the under-21s, I wouldn't say he's smashing in goals, but he scored six. He's got some very good mentals. You know, we like that. We like that a striker. He's quick. Yeah, he's No, nah, he's still, he's got some technicals. He's got something to work on. And he looks to be a starter. I, I think we'll, we'll keep that because blooding him, yeah, this season uh, would really help his development. Uh, a goalkeeper suspended. I think there must be, yeah, there has to be two goalkeepers in the squad. Uh, Francis, is he good enough to be the backup? The, the the experienced guy is the backup. Oscar, Oscar Gregg here. He's a really good one. Was he? I want, I want to take a look how these... Yeah, 875k. See, for a team wanting to save money, I'm going to look for as many I can on the cheaper scale and even free transfers. But again, I think he's under the same... Has he got... Did he get sent off? That's something you got to watch out for him. If he's got a bit of an aggressive side, you don't see... Too many reds in FM, do you, for keepers? But yeah, we'll go through the potential again. Uh, those couple, uh, we'll take a look. Hervé, uh, another 21-year-old, looks to be... Look, we've got a couple of defensive... On the, yeah, the defensive-sided players. Uh, very, very good. And they all generally have been part of the youth setup in France, which is a good thing, because then they might, you know, becoming a first-team player in the senior squad, which is obviously harder, but... Yeah, they've been known coming up and having that high potential can still grow. I do wonder, is he going to be more a midfield defensive type or a centre-back? I'd, I'd probably say centre-back. His heading's only eight. I guess that's what makes me think about it. And his passing's only 10 anyway. So it's a really, 
Interesting one. He's got, okay, been training refrains from taking long shots. I'm not going to mess around with that, especially if he's on the defensive side. Long shots isn't bad, but it isn't an attribute from a defensive player. His finishing is one, so I don't think that that's going to be efficient. Especially, I like my teams to keep possession for the most part. And then Sal, another defensive-minded player. He could be DM, but passing nine, I mean, not terrible. He could be fullback as well. Uh, versatile, but actually, see, he not every youth player has, has been capped. Did he come through? Yeah, he's come through Bordeaux, been loaned out. Oh, like the previous season, you can see here, trying to... Uh, trying to become a regular this season might be hard. He's probably going to be a backup at 21, but that potential becomes that player. Um, yeah, you'll be you'll be pretty happy with him. And then, yeah, they're the key youth players. Or if we sort by age, there might be a few other ones there. Oh no, they've got ones with your relative, yeah, relatively the best potential. You got Fernandez, Velez. Um, he must have came through. Um, we actually started at PSG, so I wonder if he's still holding on to some PSG potential. Uh, but he is 22 now, so he's probably not going to grow too much more for an attacking player. It just He doesn't look good enough. We talk about, okay, our goal is to be a dominant team in this league so he can be in Europe. Uh, we've got to yeah, think about which players are going to be that level. And the next thing, to see the other side of the senior squad. Who's the stars in the team? Apart, <laughs> apart from the guy, yeah, oh. Yeah, Muasa, he's exciting. One of the youngest in the team. No, actually, the youngest the youngest, highest value, highest was it, potential with a few others. It's it's quite exciting for him. But let's take a look at uh, some first-team players, like uh, Pablo Martinez, an experienced player, 29-year-old Spanish, Spanish player. Uh, see, even to me, for him being four-star, that tells me we need to increase the... Uh, the squad, uh, the quality in the squad, because I feel I could easily scout players that look as good as him, if not better. But yeah, we will have to see. Uh, who's this Alice? He's 31 years old. So yeah, getting older, quick, but good. Yes, yes. You know, we like those. Another thing we like, 18 natural fitness. He should hold at least for one more season without decline. If he holds that 16 pace and he's strong as well. I like that mixture. I hate types. I don't hate them, but I love it when players are quick, but yeah, pretty strong as well. Um, yeah, they've got the aggression. He's that type of striker. He could be play out wide as well. So yeah, he's a handy player, but you always got to see what they've done previously. Last season, he didn't get too many goals, but you, you just got to see uh, where they've come from. But they actually got relegated in the save as well. So they're on the up, trying to go through a bit of a rebuild. And oh, Sarpreet Singh, of course, as well. He actually played in the A-League. He played in Australia uh, for Wellington, for a New Zealand team. But yeah, they're in the A-League. Uh, watched him play a few times. He's a good talent. And obviously, yeah, moved to Bayern. Didn't really get much of a chance there. But he's a talent. Was signed for 3.6 million. Again, if you're a team struggling, I probably wouldn't go for that. I like him. Okay, attribute. Yeah, very creative. He'll be a playmaking type for us. You know, he's, he gets international experience. He'll definitely be playing for New Zealand. He won't have trouble getting into that team. At his ability, of course. But yeah, his versatility around the midfield, out wide. Handy player. So as I said, we're not going to go through individually so many players. We did the talents in the senior squad, uh, the better, you know, the more senior first team players. And I guess we'll also do that by ability because it's not always dictated by transfer value. Um, like Lauza here, he's 28 years old. So not too old, but again, the, for these four stars, they're solid players, don't get me wrong. But I feel or I hope we'll be able to attract some better uh, let's take a look through some more, uh, Carrillo, there's a few, yeah, a few Spaniards, yeah, Alvaro Carrillo, I like the look of him, he's 25, yeah, he's got a few years left, good natural fitness, a leader, yes, I love leaders out there on the pitch, that really helps, especially at the back, and then, look, Victor, another, you know, 28 years old, no standout attributes like the last guy, um, another midfielder, but these midfield types, they're, I say they're a similar quality, but I think it's somewhere we need to target and improve, uh, most definitely. Anywhere anywhere else, uh, we've got a South African. So a few, a, a spreading around the nationalities, that's for sure. As a fullback, I think he can do a job for now. When you look at his ability, you're like, yeah, he can do a job. But again, he doesn't look that great. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. So yeah, we're definitely going to target players we can, uh, we can replace. We'll take a look at a few. Yeah, I said I, I mentioned this guy as a winger, and obviously he starts as a youngster, but he, he doesn't look that great. 
and it might say a lot for players that are have got some of the best abilities in the team where I'm not thinking they're great players. So, um, yeah, definitely going through the... Oh, okay, yeah, his best is long throws, but he's good heading. Ooh, want to be centre-back or right-back? Right-back circled, but I love versatility, uh, that is for sure. And then, as I said, we'll take a look. A couple more players at Denmark. Again, well, I mean, we got a good... A good maybe we might utilise some long throws if we've got that, but I love the height or the, the jumping reach. Uh, yeah, it's not just defending, but maybe from corners as well. So, and then Farris. Yeah, I think... Uh, we'll take a look at him. But it's another striker, yeah. These guys that are four-star, three-and-a-half star, don't look don't look too crazy. I think I remember when he was a youngster as well. Where was he at? Okay, I, I, a very familiar name, and I just Cameroon. But anyway, he's an interesting type. I don't think too much upside at that age. But now we're going to go through, look at some bright... Didn't I say we could have a few talents here? But I'm going to go through, you know, the second team. I wonder how many they have here. Yeah, and, and some being the under-19s. under, under 19s. Sebastian Pascal. See, he's not increased to put him up to the first team. It's different now. It's not like in previous clubs where they could probably manage. But for the future, without a doubt. Are they touted to be anyone? Uh, not from what we can see. But he's a promising winger, not a wonder kid. Promising's not bad to have as well, but 15 technique, you got to look, yeah, don't downplay those 15s for someone who's got five-star potential It's still only 19. Those are attributes that can go like 17, 18. Um, Carl, another 19-year-old. I think he's closer to coming into the first team. It's a good first-team squad size, but we we see how they go in the reserves, and they, I want to see if they're pushing for a first-team selection. Uh, see, there's a 23-year-old here. It's two and a half. For me, honestly, I'd sell someone like this. Let me know if you'd do the same. Might weaken the reserve team, but who cares? It's the first team that's important. And let younger guys play, because he's 23. In my opinion, he'd go on the transfer list and try and get some money from him. Then you do look at some others here. You start to sort... Yeah, you get the way I manage, which I like to put in the videos. We're not going to go through all them individually. because. But yeah, anyone really... I'd say over 22... There's actually an English lad here. I to click on him because he's English. Okay. Where did where did he start? In France. Okay. We didn't get as much as we could have expected there. Where was he born? London. And he's Italian as well. Really? Really intriguing. I mean, his name is Zion. He could be a good player. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, a couple of interesting types there for different reasons. Yeah, let's take a look at the best talent. Oh, I love that there's a 15-year-old. What I mean, oh my God, look at his value. This Vincent Colomb, he could be, I want to you know, I want to go, we're not going to click, click on him all. You just know. Four-star potential is okay. So we'll go from Sasha here, a 17, midfielder. Good balance. Balance and flair. I like those, actually, especially for a midfield type. They'll be good with their movement. So yeah, th those are two good attributes to have. Um, he hasn't have... Any youth caps yet? I think, yeah, his potential is solid, though. And then we go on to Felipe uh, Broquet. I'm guessing with the, fr the French pronunciation. But two-star current ability, which is not bad. He is capped at under-19 level. He's a quick... Oh, a 16-pace centre-back. 16-pace centre-back. If it was FIFA, people would be getting excited. See, heading, I hate when you've got a good promising centre-back or even just a good centre-back in your team. But why is their heading lower? Maybe just work on that as much as we can. Can we target that at a at an early yeah at an early stage? Yeah, Ariel's going to do that. His bravery is already good, which I don't like. Like I don't in, individually working on something when one of the attributes is already good, especially his best attribute. I want the heart the the heading definitely to be targeted. But yeah, I hope that is not a negative for him because everything else looks to be generally in place for him to become, you know, a league and centre-back. Uh, it all depends how he develops. He is promising, though. So that is, yeah, that is a good thing. It's promising. Okay, Daryl Fontaine. Ooh, fullback or a DM? Let's see what he's looking like. Not bad. My initial thoughts, probably left-back. Probably. My centre-back, my centre-back eyes. I mean, if he's a defensive-minded or like a defensive midfielder, yeah, CM or DM. Generally, I like when you're playing someone as a DM, you like you like them to play both CM and DM. But yeah, he looks good. Mentally very strong. 
Uh, determination good. Another one who's promising. No wonder kids, but they're promising. This no, he's promising as well. Okay, no one, no wonder kids. Vincent, ah, oh, fifteen, so young. Oh, we might want to work because you got yeah someone we just before him we checked out. We probably think he's going to be a fullback. You probably don't want both. Oh, at fifteen already capped to under twenty. Yep, he's. Yeah, the upper, you know, the upper people in the French setup definitely targeting this lad to be a future player uh, in the senior team. Decision making is good, which is, yep, that's important. Determination, work rate, teamwork could be a little bit better, but it's enough for him to develop at a solid rate. He's not going to have poor development out of any attributes he has. Uh, yeah, I think he looks like the future left back for us. So it's an interesting battle in their youth team there. So. We're going to leave it there. Let me know what you think of our new job. Is it maybe as... I'm, I'm, I'm not getting too excited about it. I'm not saying it's going to be an easy job, but I'm happy about where we've gotten. We could have easily ended up in uh, two league... We could have been in, what, League One. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. We could have been League One in England, but instead we're League One. League... It, it's... Oh, I swear, my saves bring up these kind of things, but... I'm really happy with this job and the history, what I've, I said about it early in the video, Bordeaux and their yeah, previous uh, history. Uh, when I was growing up, I saw them as one of the best teams in France. And then obviously the money came in a little bit with the PSGs, the Monacos. So yeah, it will be interesting to get them out of this rut that they are in. Obviously a couple of seasons ago, like they've just come back into the league after getting relegated in the save. So yeah, a bit of rebuilding action with them as well, which is always fun. A new club to rebuild. But let me know your thoughts up in the comments below. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new as well for the start or this this new start of the journeyman, our, our new tenure. And for those of that uh, missed it, if you're just joining, this is what it's look. It's starting. Is it? Isn't it looking good now? Like our like our resume, our CV in this journeyman is starting to compile. It looks very exciting, yeah. You know, we started in England. We went to Northern Ireland. We went to China. We went, we went to Belgium, and now, now we're in France. So I'm happy with how we've moved. And maybe some people won't be happy. I just ship back to England because England gets hate in journeyman's for some reason. Because <laughs> yeah, it's always a go-to, I guess, for a lot of people. But anyway, we'll leave it there, and I'll see you guys next time.